So we will be the fourth country in case if we succeed in... Already we have landed on the moon. Only thing is we didn't land soft landing. So this time we are hopeful that we will win. And in which case we will become the fourth country. I hope it will be a, it's a big boost for space science and technology as well as the nation's economy also. Though the launch is taking place, uh, the real uh, landing on the moon, namely the, the so-called success will be known only on August 23rd or 24th. Uh, let us hope to celebrate it. Almost now 35 years and we have been contributing to various uh, missions of ISRO uh, over the years. <coughs> Uh, Chandrayaan-3 uh, uh, being uh, a very uh, prestigious mission, uh, uh, Goodrich has contributed to uh, uh, the hardware for the two L110 engines, uh, which will be the second stage uh, engine which will be fired today. And then of course we have the cryogenic stage, the hardware for which has been uh, supplied through uh, our uh, <coughs> plant here at Vikroli in Mumbai. So these are the main contribution, and of course we have some components of thrusters which uh, are manufactured here and supplied to LPSC. So this makes the package uh, which is there in the lift off today. Okay, going back a little in time, what were Goodrich Aerospace contributions to Chandrayaan 2 and the Mongolian? Uh, as I said, uh, we are the pro propulsion hardware supplier, so a similar uh, type of hardware have been supplied over the years. And this could have been also part of Chandrayaan 3 or Chandrayaan 1 or Chandrayaan 2 or Mangalyan, uh, depending on the combination which uh, LPSC and ISRO would decide at that point of time. Okay, and how does indigenously developed technology, you know, highlight in the mission today? So uh, the full uh, propulsion system and uh, I would say if, if our understanding is correct, uh, Almost 80% uh, to 90% of the whole mission is indigenous, uh, uh, and uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tribute to our uh, founders uh, and uh, uh, hardworking scientists at ISRO that this has been developed over the years of hard work, and uh, uh, it's a technology demonstrator, uh, uh, I would say, when we land at, on, on the moon on, in, in August. It will be a great uh, movement for the country. Talking about the Chandrayaan, it will become the world's first mission to soft land near the lunar south pole. So how important is the, or you know, how major is the soft landing process, if you could tell us a bit about it? Uh, we are not involved in that uh, process so much, so I, I won't be able to share too many details. I think the chairman ISRO has already shared uh, details a couple of days back. Uh, but uh, there have been changes, what we understand, there are several simulations which have gone uh, uh, into the changes which have happened between Chandrayaan 2 and Chandrayaan 3. So uh, we hope that this time we land safely and uh, do the experiments which are required. Okay. Uh, and how will this be a historical moment or a moment of, uh, or a milestone for the country? Uh, definitely every mission is a milestone for a country because it's a, it's a, it's a very technically challenging uh, uh, missions which are going on. But Chandrayaan 3 being... Uh, 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 first time for any, any country has tried to land in that part of the moon. Uh, it will be a great moment. Uh, it will be uh, very important for the mankind because what we find on that side has never been uh, established. So it, all, all eyes uh, would be on ISRO on some, somewhere around 23rd August when we try to land on the moon. Okay. Adding to that, uh, where does it put India in the League of Space Nations? If you look at, uh, there are very few nations which are actually into the space uh, uh, and India is very unique. It has always worked on uh, uh, the requirements of the country rather than uh, uh, participating in the space race as they used to call it. So uh, we have a very unique proposition to do something good for the mankind, for the country and uh, definitely a very important step towards uh, the future where we are trying to explore the other planets, etc. <coughs> capacities and if it, this is a first step to becoming a space, nation space. 
there have been steps as i said since last 30 years uh, uh, when the formation of isro and then the indian industry participation uh, uh, several industries uh, participated uh, and godrej is uh, one of the leading industries which participated from the early days and uh, it's it's a progressive thing we moved from st- manufacturing of thrusters to uh, propulsion engines like vikas and then to cryo and now of course working on the next generation uh, uh, big uh, large engines so it's been a progressive uh, uh, move and uh, every mission there are uh, challenges which are uh, uh, you know uh, improved upon in the next mission so it, it's been a good journey and we we want to continue with isro for a long time okay. um, what could be the next big thing you know of uh, sending a rover them collecting samples and coming back what could be the next big thing I think the next big thing is Gaganyaan, uh, which is going to happen. Uh, I think the trials will be happening this year, and then we try and put three people in space for three days. So that will be the next uh, big step for the country. And then, of course, there's another Mangalyaan may, may be planned. So uh, there are several missions which are planned. I think ISRO would be in the right position to answer those questions. Okay. Um, winding up, sir. So the mission is scheduled to launch today. What would you like to add from your side? You know. Wishing all the best to ISRO and uh, the team over there. Uh, we have been working very closely, and uh, it will be a very proud moment to uh, eject the module up in the and then the space, and then to track. Uh, there will be several maneuvers which uh, will be happening uh, to reach it to the moon. So, all fingers crossed, and uh, wishing all the best to the scientists over there at uh, Shri Harikota. Thank you. Thank you.